I graduated on a Saturday, and that Monday I started here. So there really was no layover time. I had no summer vacation. But it's only six months, and so I'll be out by December 2018, and I'll be able to get a full-time job and then continue my schooling, having someone else pay for it. So I really didn't want to wait, and I felt like the more time I took off, I thought about maybe taking a gap year when I got right out because I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do. But with this, it's so short, and you, really, you learn a skill. And so that's what I wanted coming out of high school. I wanted something I could put on my resume, rely on, and know that there's a lot of jobs out there for me. Here at Great Bay, they focus on what you need for skills when you get out and get a career. They don't uh, give you English classes that you won't need. They don't fill you up with credits that you won't use. Everything they teach you here, you will use. And I think they do a great job working with companies outside, bringing people in, asking them. It seems like they're ever-changing. They're adapting to what the workforce wants and needs, and you can really see that when you go to school here. It's a really great place to be. A typical day at Great Bay Community College would be like, <clears throat> we get in, Everyone's on time. We sit down, we usually lecture for a little bit. We go over our basics and then we get right into the lab and we go, <clears throat> we take what we just lectured on and we apply it physically so you can see it with your hands. And that I think is a huge thing because I don't learn extremely well in the classroom, but when you can go in the same day learning something new and seeing it happen right in front of your eyes, that is really, like, it's a great way to learn. The instructors here, they'll tell you, you know, when you're doing this, like your laminate schedule, all this, it applies directly to what um, companies are doing. Like we'll see in a lecture, you know, we'll see these vacuum bags, and then we go into the lab and we make a vacuum bag. And, you know, the pictures that we see, they're not from nowhere, they're from industry. So it's, you can definitely see the correlation from what you do in the classroom and lab to what they're doing in industry. It's the only college I've ever heard of where executives come to the college to interview you. You're a wanted commodity at Great Bay, especially ATAC, you're wanted here. Like people, we're having Pratt & Whitney come in, BAE comes in to see us. I mean, we, we'll go on field trips to these companies, but they're, they come back and they wanna see us, which is very reassuring. My classmates here, I feel comfortable going up to any one of them, you know, asking, I didn't understand this, I know you did, can you help me out here? There's also tutors that you can drop in at any time and see, but also the professors, I mean, if you don't understand something, they're definitely, they want you to understand everything. They want you to succeed, they want you to do well in the program. So I've never felt like if there's something I don't understand, there's a place that I can't go for help or I can find the answers if I don't need, if I don't understand them the first time. There's uh, on-site, at least one on-site tutor here, and you can schedule hours with him. He has open hours where you can just drop in, but if you need something specialized, he's willing to work with you, and it's really a great source for um, information and just reinforcement, because you can't hold up an entire class if you don't understand something, but there's always a way to understand it. I feel like when I get through the ATAC program, I will have a job and I will be 90% work ready. With every company, they have to train you a little bit, but everyone I've talked to, they say when you walk through the door, you're a leap ahead of the people coming off the street. And companies realize that and they appreciate it. I'm very excited about being a part of the composites industry because of the growth I've seen in just the past couple years and where it can go. I mean, right now, the bulk is in aerospace, but it's heading towards automotive. That's my passion, and I really see a future for the rest of my life in it.